<clears throat> right so the other day I went to the BP garage and filled up with diesel for a hundred pounds and paid with the big coin um, they accepted uh, the payment so I'm going back there today to fill up a jerry can uh, to see what happens next so this next video um, is when they accepted the hundred pound last time okay <coughs> Please. Higher, number five, please. I've never had one of them. Is it legal tender? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Are you sure? Yeah, <laughs> it's got a hundred pounds on it, it's Queen's head. Do you need a receipt? Yes, please. Thank you. That's great, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Alright then, so today I'm going to uh, be going to a BP garage on the M5 and uh, I'm going to take a 20 litre can of, um, you can see it in the background there, jerry can um, and fill it up with diesel. Now outside the petrol station they've got a big sign up that says all the different methods of payment they accept and they also say they accept cash. So um, I'm going to be uh, paying with this um, £20 coin, okay? It's silver £20 coin, Royal Proclamation to say that it's legal tender in any part of the UK for payment of any amount, you know, obviously in multiples of £20. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Now, interesting, I'm parked in a, um, a road, it's like a little country lane, and there's a sign that says road closed. So I um, don't know whether you recall, but I had a conversation with a policeman the other day. Um, and um, there was discussion about whether or not you need to provide your details, whether you're driving and if you're on a private road or whatever. And he said that if um, a road is um, open to public access or if it's a petrol station car park or... Um, anything like that, if it's open to public access, then the rules of the road apply. If it clearly wasn't open to public access, then um, the rules of the road don't apply. So therefore you don't need to have tax insurance or uh, and you don't need to have to um, show your ID even though you're driving. That's what he said. So behind me, just behind me, is a sign that says road closed. Um, although it hasn't got barrier across, I think it's quite a clear sign that says road closed. So I think it would provide quite a good, uh, the basis for quite a good um, argument or dispute as to whether or not I'm legally obliged to show my um, driving license and things like that. Um, <clears throat> so it should be quite interesting. And seeing as I'm taking the fuel in a, in a petrol can, if there's a dispute about payment and they really don't want to accept the coin, well, there's always the offer that they can have the fuel back and I can pour it back out into something else. Um, anyway, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I think <clears throat> I think what I'll do is I'll go and fill up first and um, then offer payment. And then if they accept it and it's all fine and good, then well, there's no video to make, is there really? But um, if they dispute it, then I'll pull my camera out and start filming the, um, the dispute. And obviously if they call the police, I'll be uh, recording that as well. So we don't know how this is going to go, but um, you know, some policemen might arrest me and then some policemen say that it's a civil dispute. It's not even really a civil dispute because it's quite clearly written in law that the coin's legal tender throughout the UK. If, if there's payment of debt that needs to be made, then um, it's legal tender for paying a debt or for paying a financial obligation. 
Okay, let's see how we go then, all right? And you. So, how much do I owe? 25 pounds, is it? One. Well, I'm making an offer of payment. And I've told you we did not accept that tender. So you're refusing to accept I'm it, yeah? I'm not refusing. We are saying we did not accept that tender. But it is legal tender, isn't it? Yeah? Do you it agree it is legal bank, tender? I think. Yeah. Well, look, I'll be down the lane, all right? Sat uh, in my car. Penalties, please. I'll be sat in, in my car down the lane, all right? Okay. Hello. I'll be sat in my car down the lane, all right? Right, so um, I filled up the jerry can with diesel. Um, and I went over, didn't I, <laughs> on the pump. I went over and put too much fuel in the can and I didn't have exact, exactly the right money. So um, I thought I'll walk back to the car and put the um, jerry can in the car. And um, I had to look through the car. I couldn't find the exact right money, could I? So I had a 50 pound coin and a 100 pound coin and I had a 20 and I had some change, but I didn't have 25 pounds, which is what I needed to pay. So, um, I went back and I went into the kiosk and um, I said, oh, I've come to pay. Um, I went to the car to see if I had the right money. And he said, yes, I know. We were watching you on CCTV. So I said, well, there you go. And I offered the £100 coin. And he said, we're not accepting that. And um, we're not accepting the 50. And um, I said, well, how are we going to proceed? He said, uh, well, I'll phone the police. I said, well, I'm going to have to record this to um, prove that I've tried to pay and you're refusing to accept the payment. Um, and then he was jumping up and down saying, uh, I don't give you permission to record me. You, you're not to record me and all the rest of it. I didn't record him. I said, I'll, I'll record the counter and uh, <clears throat> and I'll record offering me offering you the money and you refusing. Anyway, he didn't agree to that, but he went on the phone to Devon and Cornwall Police. Um, but that's hypocrisy, isn't it? We saw you on CCTV, but you're not to record me. So it works both ways, doesn't it? He's recording me thinking I'm stealing the fuel, but I'm recording him to prove that I didn't. So anyway, um, I came back to the car after they refused to accept the payment and uh, I rang 101 and I spoke to the police and I told them what, what had happened. Um, he said that they don't. he doesn't think they'll be sending a car out. He said it's um, a civil dispute, which is correct, I think. So I said, well, look, I haven't got the right money and they, there's no obligation on them to give me change. Um, so I said that I'm going to go home and get exactly the right money and come back and give it to them. Policeman said on the phone, well, you know, um, well, just go and tell them um, that you're going to go and do that. And um, so I did. I went and told them. I also gave them my name and my phone number on a bit of paper. So I didn't fill out their civil civil um, recovery form uh, for no means to pay because I have got the means to pay um, so anyway what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in there and I'm going to film with my new gimbal right um, and um, I'm going to film leaving the money on the counter and going because that way I've paid haven't I uh, how can I not have paid if I've left the money on the counter um, also I'll show you the sign that says that they accept cash okay all right so See you in a moment. Right. <clears throat> okay, there are all the ways to pay. We also accept cash and contactless. Hiya. Hi there. Okay, just to let you know, I am filming, all right? So there's my payment. 
Five pounds and twenty, that's twenty that one. Not a twenty pound. We don't accept that as ten pounds. We'll just get the camera. No, that's not a problem. I'll take that and I'll pass it on to the police. Okay. Alright, so look, there's no animosity in this, you know, I'm a friendly guy, it's just I think... I've with the police, so I know what goes on here, so... Yeah, there's a lot of misunderstanding, I'm you know. got to end now, <laughs> Alright, can I have a receipt then, please? Thank you, can I get a receipt, please? Hello? Hello? Okay. Didn't want to give her a seat. So there you have it, they accepted the money, £25, they didn't give me the receipt, but I think this video pretty much constitutes evidence that I did pay. There you go, to be continued no doubt I guess.